So far in iOS 16, we've seen updates to the lock screen, new widget features, and a different view of your wallpapers section. While the changes so far in iOS 16 don't seem to be much of a big deal as opposed to the iOS 14, iOS 15 changes, some of the changes so far are pretty appealing, such as the new way to change color filters on your wallpaper as well as being able to use the pinch to zoom. Now to try these features out, just go into your settings, tap wallpaper, click customize, and start making your changes. Now you can swipe to the side to use the new filters, which are only a few, but it's still pretty cool. Then you've got the pinch to zoom, which works well for setting wallpaper images without distorting them at all. Now, as Apple continues to release new iOS 16 updates, I'd imagine they're only going to get better for lock screen features. Some of the things I'd still really like Apple to do is create a way to use split screen on your iPhone, which is kind of crazy that they have never done anything for that yet, or possibly just add more widget options. For now, if you're wanting to get involved with beta updates for any iOS version, you're going to need a developer account, which sadly isn't free. It's $99 a year. However, subscribing for more iOS updates uh, will keep you informed on any new changes coming around iOS.